Hey guys, it's Milky here, and I finally got a Black Ops video for Capture you. It's Domination on w WMD, and I go 41 to 3, which is quite good for me considering I, I nerd rage like all the time. Anyway, in this video, um, I'm going to be talking about where I place myself to cover the objective and how I manage the objective, meaning how I keep it ours and keep the enemy off it. Okay, so to start with, you can see I'm up on this balcony kind of thing. I know it's obvious, but use this spot. I mean, it's good. But, um, if you're going to, don't dance around. Don't don't jump all over the place like I just was. Use, th and also, use the barricaded part of the railing. Oh, that was a flash, uh, fail flash bang right there. Uh, um... You'll see in a, in a second now. Use the barricaded part of the railing to use as cover. Either lay down behind it or next to it. And try and see if you can maneuver yourself so you can see B-Flag. And that was the most amazing tomahawk ever. Anyway. Um, but yeah. Just use that barricaded part. Right. You'll see me now move to the main building. Again, this is obvious, but as you'll s as you'll see in a second, I maintain this building for most of the game. I rack up my kill streaks and I maintain the objective for my team. You know, c so you can say whatever. You can you can say I'm camping in this building, but I'm maintaining it for the. For the advantage of my team and that guy just caught got the b flag as he died and for that part i wanted to dive in my own fire just to be cool <laughs> anyway um so yeah um right so talking about holding down the main building all right as you'll see me do i use nearly every single window I don't say in one one spot all the time so people can come and get me. I run around the whole top floor looking out nearly every window. Um, and I and this is a good thing as well for you. Check every entry point as well. Like if you're going to check two windows then check an entry point. That window right there is an entry point because you can jump up on the barrels and then in through the window. Um, also the main stairs and then the back stairs those are the obvious ones and then this window again this window you can get in through there just keep cycling around just keep on making a circle pattern if you can and if you're worried then just lay down and then you know wait for the enemy if you think one's coming don't take a risk of running out because you could always get panic knifed in the face or you know or you could get noob tubed or shotgun you don't know what could happen and then you're pissed off and then you have to try and get it back, you know. You can... Without a doubt, somebody's probably going to say I'm camping. You, and do you know what I say to that? I don't care if you think I'm camping. I'll even say myself, I'm camping. I'm playing Domination. It's an objective-based game. I'm helping my teammates out by keeping the enemies in their spawn at all times. And by getting my kill streaks. To kill them when I can't. Now, if you think that it, that's a bad thing, then you're an idiot because an objective based game shouldn't be for kill whoring. I mean, yeah, okay, 41 kills. That is a bit kill whore, but I do it so I can get my uh, kill streaks up in the air so I can help my team out. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure I could have gone all the way to dogs if I, if I had them on, to be honest, because as you, I think it's this life. I just unload all my ammo. And for some reason, they were spawning up there for some reason, because I know my thing's black and white at the moment, but we have uh, C and B, and they've got A, and they're spawning up at C, so I don't know why they were, I mean, that's just bad game mechanics. Well, not game mechanics, just...
bad spawning system. <laughs> but, but yeah, just keep on circling round. Um, don't know, don't know what else to say really. I think I just, uh, I'm going to be quiet for a little bit so you can watch the gameplay and if I think of anything I'll just jump straight in. Um, I always keep saying this in, in all my videos, if you have any suggestions for me or you want me to do anything like a challenge or anything I'll be more than happy to try it um, if you want me to get a good gameplay with a weapon then I'll, I'll try my hardest if you want me to post the first game I do with just a ballistic knife or something I'll, I'll do that you know please don't tell me to just use the ballistic knife I hate it I despise it um, if you have luck now, like I said earlier, I've nearly run out of ammo and I'm still dead. And there's a good, what, 300 bullets in this gun? So, you know, it. what I do, what I'm doing right now is effective. It, it does work. And I know it's easy for me to say because I picked this out of like four gameplays, right? No, not even joking, I played like four matches of this exact same thing. Not the same map, obviously, but... Domination using the Galil. <coughs> Sorry. But, uh, yeah, this was like a fun game to play. And I hope it's entertaining to you. I hope the gameplay is making up for my lack of commentary. <coughs> oh, commentary sense for that matter. Now you'll see here, I, in a second, I'll go back to that window. And I'll use up the last of my ammo. Actually, I'll, I'll remain with four bullets left, I think it is. I'll get these two guys beer. For, yeah, four bullets left. And then I get one guy beer. And I'm down to my python. Now what do I do? <coughs> and I just... I, I just try and get as many kills as I can with the python. Uh, unfortunately, that's the only kill I get with the python. But what do I get? I get the AK-47. Uh, AK it's coming up to the end of this gameplay. So I shall stop my blabbering now. And allow you to watch the rest of the gameplay. Thanks guys, and I will see you next time. See.